Hello, I'm Ron Charles. You may know me as the most positive reinforcement in the book world. This week's book is a provocative debut novel by a cat enthusiast named Joyce Oates. Wait, Joyce Carol Oates is one of the most celebrated authors in the country. Oh, that Oates. Ron, maybe you're not qualified to review her new book if you haven't read The Backlist? <laughs> Dawn, as a professional, I'm sure I can get up to speed fairly quickly. I mean, how many could there be? Yikes! Great Scott! To read all those, we'll have to charge the flux capacitor to slip through the space-time continuum! Hazards of Time Travel is a dystopian sci-fi satire that feels as current as Donald Trump's next Orwellian lie. The story starts in a far-off future, like Thursday, when the Constitution has been suspended. All the citizens in the RNAS, the reconstituted North American states, live under PVIWAT, Patriotic Vigilance in the War Against Terror, in which spies for DCVSB hand over suspects to HSPSO for DSTAD. Oh my god, it's full of acronyms. Our heroine in this all cap dystopia is a 17 year old high school girl named Adrian. Adrian knows she should just smile and be quiet, but the day before graduation, she's arrested for asking subversive questions. She was warned, she was given an explanation. Nevertheless, she persisted. Adrian is interrogated, tortured, and then, no, 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 sentenced to be teletransported back 80 years in time to a mediocre university in the Midwest. George Orwell imagined the helmet full of hungry rats. But Joyce Carol Oates gives us Wisconsin. When Adrian wakes up in the year 1959, all she has to do is fit in and act like a nice co-ed. Well, I'm from France. Remilac, France. But Adrian goes and falls in love with her dashing psychology professor, who's a disciple of that crackpot with the pigeons, B.F. Skinner. There's an awful lot about behaviorism and B.F. Skinner in this novel, but I didn't really mind, because every time I mentioned his name, I pressed this lever and got a cupcake. Is poor Adrian trapped in a giant Skinner box that just looks like mid-century Wisconsin? Amid the shocks administered throughout Hazards of Time Travel, by the end I really wasn't sure what was happening. But for positive reinforcement you can take into the future, I'm Ron Charles, your totally hip video book reviewer.